Hello, what's up everybody? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sianja and I am here again with another video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Today's topic is the most amazing topic and I'm so passionate about this because, hello, <laughs> talking from experience. So I just want to say that your success will reveal the true colors of the people who are in your cycle. Yes, I said it. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just go straight to today's video. Have you ever been in a situation where you have the people who are in your inner cycle, right? Those are the, like your immediate relationship people. Could be your family members, could be your friends, or maybe you've accumulated some years of friendship with your colleagues and maybe your cousins or whatever. And you find yourself in a situation where you are always having these people around you when you're having your problems, you know, they're here as a shoulder to cry on, they're here to listen to your stories, they call you, you know, to check up on you. And then it happens that one day you finally get out of your misery. You finally conquer whatever the challenge that you've been facing. You finally get to the point where you are happy. You are happy with your growth. You are happy with what you've accomplished. Or maybe you have recently accomplished something so amazing. And you start seeing that people are not saying anything. You know, people who know where you're coming from, people who know your struggles, people who, who have an idea what it took for you to be where you are today or for you to have what you have today. But all of a sudden, they start acting weird. All of a sudden, they start keeping quiet on you. And you wonder if it's something that you said, you start like thinking, maybe it's something I said, maybe it's something that I did. Well... Sandra Sam, today I'm just going to come and tell you that those people were never for you from the beginning. Somebody who knows your journey, somebody who knows your tears, somebody who's been there with you, somebody who knows your struggles. When you finally make it, they will still be there. They're not only going to be there to offer a shoulder to cry on. So that is why I want to say today that people will show their true colors the time when it is time for you to shine. If you want to know people who are for you, start looking at the people who are not afraid to come and say oh wow you did it i can't believe you made it i can't believe all the things you've went through it was all worth it look at you now you know people who are willing to celebrate with you even if they don't celebrate with you but they are able to acknowledge that you did something great you know you did something amazing and this deserves a toast even if we're toasting with water for crying out loud, like this deserves some recognition. This deserves a conversation. This deserves us having to say something about it and maybe even reflect to what you've been through for you to finally come here and allow you a chance to come back to me as a person who has a shoulder to cry on to say, I finally made it and you were there and I'm grateful that you were there and you did what you did and look at me now, look at us now because if it wasn't for you, this win for me wouldn't be. But now you won't even get a chance to have those conversations because they start acting weird. They start distancing themselves. They start, you know, you can feel like the, the energy is just, there's just something weird about it. And then another thing that I always like to say is that energy doesn't lie. And I think everybody knows this by now. There is nothing that you can hide behind energy. Energy will always snitch on you. Energy will always show you your true colors. You can be something in, in front of everybody and say all the words. And then when it's time for the energy to speak, every time when people are around you, they will always pick that up. At least people who are having their first eye open they will be able to spot that you are fake as hell so that is why i wanted to talk about this so now these are the things that you need to do because you can find that some some people they come and ask me okay princess can you please let me know what if it's a family member how do i then uh, get this person out of my life because they're family member or maybe they would say oh we've been friends for 20 years in and we live in the same area how do i now create boundaries how do i react to the a person who's doing this it's simple you know uh, i believe that you need to be for people who are for you because if you are for people who are not for you you will find yourself delegating or you'll find you, you will find yourself neglecting that's the word you'll find yourself neglecting all the boundaries that are meant to keep all your gifts and talents and your treasure of being you and the energy that you have that is supposed to serve you and what is for you you'll find yourself that you start tapping into all those things which are for you and you start giving them to people because you're trying to please them and also um, it is very common for
for people who were raised by parents who never acknowledged them, who never said congratulations when they did well at school or in sports or whatever. Uh, parents who always compared them with their with other children or with their with their siblings. You know, people who were raised in an environment like that, they will find it easy to want to people please other people. So they will chase up after people which they like or they adore even if those people are not for them, but they will keep on chasing on them because they feel that they need their validation. They feel that they need them to say something. So you cannot chase people and make them see you for who you are. You cannot chase people and make them rejoice with you when you are rejoicing, even if they were there during the crying days. You cannot force them. You need to understand that you are for yourself first before you are for anybody and you need to go to places where you are celebrated not tolerated people who celebrate you they will never make you feel uncomfortable they will never make you feel like you are doubting your place in their lives because they will always make it clear that this is where i've placed you in my life and they might even they might not even say it's verbally you will just feel like i said the energy speaks volumes you will feel that i belong here you know you need to be a kind of a person who's always aware of these things be aware of the energy even the energy of places there are places that are not for us there are people just like how there are people which are not for us and if you're an african person i don't care which area of this world you come from if you were raised by black parents and you're a black person you have possibly experience that there are houses growing up that we were not allowed to go play to. And that was the wisdom that our parents or maybe our grand grandparents, if you were raised by them, they knew something about the energy of that house, not that they, they believed that those people are horrible people, or maybe they were horrible people, it's possible also. But they, we always grew up knowing that there are places to go and then there are places that we're not supposed to go to. So when we have grow, when we become grown-ups, we should not neglect that wisdom. We should always be, you know, vigilant. We should be vigilant to be able to identify energies for what they are so that we always know where we need to be. You always need to be where you are celebrated, not where you are tolerated. Because people who tolerate you can say things that they don't mean, but their actions will speak louder than words. Their actions would actually say the opposite of what they said to you verbally. So I just wanted to give you guys that highlight and make sure that maybe if you have uh, gone through a situation where you feel like people who you always thought they are for you, as soon as you start succeeding, they acting strange and you start thinking maybe the problem is with you. Well, I'm coming to say the problem is not with you. There is this thing that people like to say and they like to say,